This video is the first in a series showing you how to use the software Topos Pro. In the partnership between Crystal Grower and Topos Pro, we have bundled a light version of the software that you get access to when you download Crystal Grower. This is the home page for Topos Pro. There's a lot of manuals, databases, and supplementary information for the software here. You can also get access to the full version of the software, but there are some license agreements to be considered if you're a commercial user. Topos Pro Lite contains all the functionality needed to generate input files for Crystal Grower. Topos Pro is a topological analysis software designed for studying crystal structures. And we use Topos Pro to generate our input files for Crystal Grower. So all our structure files are generated through an interface with Topos Pro, along with our net energy files for net based structures. So when you download the zip file containing Crystal Grower, which I've opened here, you also have this folder here, which is your Topos Pro Lite. So if we open this folder, you can see it contains two executables for Topos Pro Lite, one being Topos Pro Lite for a 64-bit system and one for a 32-bit system. This will depend on what operating system you're using. It's also worth noting that Topos Pro only works on Windows machines. If you've dual booted your machine with two operating systems, say for example Ubuntu and Windows, or you've used Bootcamp to have Mac and Windows, then it will work on your Windows partition. There is one other file in the directory that I'll draw attention to, which is the topospro.usr file. So if I just open that in a text editor, you can see it just contains one line of text, which is one user, and one will be your user code. So this is the code you have to enter into Topos every time you create a database. So if you ever move your Topos Pro executable, you need to make sure you take this file with you as well, and it has to stay in the same directory as your executable file. The download also contains a directory called tile libraries. This folder is important when you're partitioning structures using natural tiles, as you'll need this to recognize the tile types in your crystal structure. So I'll just go through the process of setting up Topos Pro. So I have a 64-bit operating system. You can find yours out if you look in system information on your computer. So you'll see mine here says x64 base PC. So I can just open this one here, or I can move it somewhere else on my PC for easier access. But make sure you don't delete this tile libraries folder when you do this. So when you open Topos Pro, you're greeted with an interface like this. The main difference between the light version and the full version on the Topos Pro website is the access to certain modules in Topos Pro. But the things that aren't available are greyed out on the top bar here. The first thing we need to do is change the Topos parameters. So if we go to System, Topos Parameters, and go to Output, we need to choose Crystal Grower as the output. You can also choose SIF or Topos, depending on what you need, but the other options are disabled in Topos Pro Lite, as it's designed specifically to be used with Crystal Grower. You also want to have multiple files selected here as the output too, if you're doing any high throughput structure file generation. The next thing we need to do is give Topos Pro the file path to that tile libraries folder we just mentioned. So if we go to the paths tab here and TTO, click the browse bar there, then I need to look for where my Topos Pro tiles library folder is. So currently it's just in my downloads, but it may be in a different location on your PC. And I just select this folder here and say select folder and press OK. So now that we've got our Topos parameters set up, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the program. The next videos will explain in detail how to use Topos Pro, but this is just a general overview. So Topos Pro is built around databases. You read in SIF files into your databases, and then you perform operations on them. So I'm just going to open a database that I already have. In the next video, I'll show how to create databases and how you actually use them. So I've got a database of zeolites here. I'll open that. And you can see it's populated with a lot of three letter codes that you might recognize as some zeolites. So the main process that you'll be following when you're generating your structure files for Crystal Grower, you'll first of all read in your SIF file, which will create an entry in your database. You might double click it and have a look at some of the information about your structure, but you'll need to generate your adjacency matrix, which you will do using AutoCN. 
which is this overlapping circle icon here on the toolbar. This is covered in a lot of detail in the next series of videos. Then you'll probably also want to visualize your structure with isocrist. So I'll just quickly show you what that can do. You can see you can look at your crystal structure, manipulate it. There's a lot more that you can do with this module, but that's discussed in later videos too. And then the final stage will be using this module here, ADS, to actually calculate either your natural tiling or your simplified net, depending on what type of structure you're looking at. This will actually create a child database with your process structure in it. And from that database, you can output your structure file. So Topos Pro is quite powerful software. There's a lot of areas that we don't actually use, hence why we have this light edition for Crystal Grower to keep things as simple as possible. In the following videos, I did actually use the full version of Topos Pro, but the features I show are shared between the light and full edition of Topos, aside from generate representations shown in part three of this series. So just be aware that you can't do that without the full version of Topos Pro, but everything else you can do exactly the same. So I hope that was a quick introduction to Topos Pro and the things that you'll be able to do with it. Just a general overview. Carry on watching the rest of the videos in the playlist to learn how to actually use Topos Pro.